During the great age of coach travel in Europe, between roughly 1750 and 1840, self-defence was a vital consideration for the traveller. Out on the open road, highwaymen were a constant danger. The blunderbuss and the flintlock pistol were primary weapons for protection against hold-ups. But in this short film, I'm also going to take a look at the pocket pistol. These incredibly ingenious little guns were, as the name suggests, carried by travellers in their pockets. But firstly, the blunderbuss. This distinctive weapon was carried by coachmen and was also a standard armament for the male coach guard. Its flared barrel was designed to make it easier to load with powder and shot on a bouncing, jolting coach. It also had a wide spread of shot, even at short range. It's a short-barreled weapon and like a sawn-off shotgun, a short-barreled weapon gives you a greater spread. He would keep it pre-loaded. The shot used was large size, it was buckshot, so it's heavy shot like this. A big charge, it's a very thick barrel, so you can take a very big charge of powder. So it's a big explosive punch at short range. It's not a weapon that you had to aim or anything sophisticated like that. You simply had to face in the right direction. Ooh, look at this, look at this. It's a spread, but it's quite a tight spread. And it shows you that, you know, these are substantial pieces of shot. That's an extremely intimidating weapon. One that could deter even the most determined highwaymen. Highwaymen operated in gangs. So you may have killed one, you may have killed two, but there could still be desperate men trying to get that mail. Some blunderbusses also had a bayonet as a weapon of last defense, and all guards were armed with a cutlass, a short curved sword, ideal for working in the confined spaces, protecting that mailbox. Of course, the most ubiquitous weapon, both for those defending the coaches and for the highwaymen themselves, was the flintlock pistol. Having a pistol levelled at your head or your chest was intimidating enough, certainly intimidating enough to make you surrender your valuables. But there was another threat to being shot by a pistol because you know, there was a reasonable chance you'd survive um, a shot from a pistol. But the idea of having your clothing, your bacteria-ridden clothing, driven deep into the wound, so you would die of an agonizing infection later, that was far more scary. Take a look at this. That has gone through, it's taken that cloth in there. And if we open the bag, we can see this ballistic gel behind. You can see, look at that. You can see how this little fabric fibers have gone right in. That would be going into the body and causing infection. But if we pull the bag down, you can really see the trajectory of the ball through the body. And all the way at the back here, my goodness, right at the back here, there's actually more, I can get my finger in, there's actually more fibres this deep into the body. It means the ball's gone right through, so it was sitting at this angle, it should be over here somewhere, and in fact there it is. And that is the other aspect of a flintlock ball. You get this extremely unpleasant, jagged lead ball inside the body. This is a weapon to be feared. <laughs> 
Throughout the 18th century, as the quality of roads improved, there was an increasing number of regular coaching routes. In 1784, the mail coach came into being. It too carried passengers, offering a faster service. There were many perils on the road. Severe weather often left passengers stranded in miserable conditions. Potholes, rocks in the road, as well as reckless driving were all frequent causes of coaches overturning. However, highway robbery by gangs of thugs was the omnipresent threat on every traveller's mind. Travelling was a dangerous business and individual travellers carried their own guns, little travelling guns. This pair of pocket pistols have the most ingenious mechanism. The barrel unscrews and you put the charge of powder in there and then the ball and then you screw the barrel on and what you can see is the ball does not fall out then I need to prime it so I pull it to half cock and I put the priming powder in and close the pan that is now safe to travel with I've got a safety catch on and there's no trigger. This gun cannot go off accidentally. It's a safe pocket pistol. It's safe enough to put in my pocket and travel on a jolting coach. But when I need to fire it, I take the safety off and I just bring it to full cock and the trigger pops down. Now it can fire. Although all 18th century pocket pistols are of the flintlock type, by the first decade of the 19th century, some versions had percussion locks. Whether flint or percussion, these ingenious little guns were to be found in the pockets of most well-to-do travellers. Romantic notions of travelling by coach had to be tempered with an awareness of the dangers. Hello, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, in fact, even if you didn't, but you would like me to produce more films for this channel, then click the subscribe button below. I can get more support, more followers, then that's going to give me the means to be able to produce more films. So let me know what you'd like, what interests you. Write something in the comments below. May not be able to do uh, what you want, but I am genuinely interested to know what interests you. So send me a message, hit the subscribe button, spread the word, loads of history on YouTube, and thanks for your support.